Sagittarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Sag, what do you need to know about love? What kind of universe got for you in love? I apologize for my appearance. I just did Leo's reading and I'm bald crying. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I've got a bit of... Sagittarius, what do you need to know about love? So yeah, let's see if this one gets emotional, shall we? Sagittarius, what do you need to know about love? One that got away, yeah? Let's have a look at that. Bear in mind, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also get them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join the channel. But the best price is if you go to Patreon. Link below. It's that one that got away. They're on your mind. But... At the time they took another offer they didn't want you had they didn't want what you had to offer they went elsewhere so let's take a look at this nostalgia are they coming back now that that's played out This is somebody who you had a very deep, lovely, loving friendship with. It was a lovely connection, somebody you could talk to, somebody you could be truly yourself with. Um, what's and all. And they, uh... Hold on. I want to keep going with you. You let yourself be vulnerable with this person. Maybe a little bit more than you ever have been because this felt like the one for you. Um, getting all these from that. And it came to the point where this person meant so much to you that you felt like you couldn't live without them. They walked away. Why did they walk away? They chose somebody else, it looks like. They didn't feel the same way. And they moved away. They uh, didn't want to stay in the same place. Uh, for too long they felt like they were getting stagnant all of these reasons all of them so anything else vegetarians needs to know right now yeah it looks like a change is coming in here Whatever cycle you've been through with this person, it's done. You are now on a road to healing. Whatever pain you've been through with this person, that's as much pain as you're going to get. There's no more knives in the back. There's no more hurt coming your way from this person, okay? Tell me more. If she knows. It's what happens when you're ball crying. It's not snot, promise. It's just if she knows. This is the end of it. This is the end of this. You loved them, they just didn't feel the same way. I don't think this person is coming back. 
it perhaps looked like it but I think what I was actually seeing there was your hopes and wishes for this person to come back but I don't see them coming back I see that they've walked away and now you're at the end of this you are now on a road to heal and you are now with this you're you don't want to get hurt again you are now setting yourself some boundaries and i've got like an itch like right on the edge of my nose i think it's a cat hair sorry guys i'm literally not picking boogers it's a cat hair you know when you put your cat direct directly over your face like you know <laughs> like one of those alien face huggers yeah i, I did that i just barry's belly what can i say it's fluffy and it smells like kitty cookies, whatever they are. I, I kind of feel like you're now, because you, you're Ten of Swords, you've been about as hurt as you could possibly be. You're at the other side of this. You're, you're coming out of that. And you're now putting up boundaries. You're setting these boundaries. You're not going to let yourself be that vulnerable again. That was it. That was the one time. No more. Best you can hope for. This can be choices. This can be confusion. Let's have a look. Why is the two of swords here? This can activate trauma in you, this kind of thing happening to you. It can make you possessive of people when they do come along. It can make you feel um, a great lack of self-confidence. You're, you're getting there though, my love. You are moving on. This was a painful one to let go of. Take a look at them. Yeah, on their part, it's sort of, they're sort of saying to you, look, this, this, I, I didn't lead you on. That might not be the case for you. Sorry, I'm not in the picture here. That might not be what you think, but what they're kind of saying is, I didn't lead you on. So, you know, it's on you that you felt like that. Hold on. Sorry, Sag, I was in the flow and someone came to read my electricity meter. Where was I? <clears throat> lovely cup of tea. I'm drinking Revitalized Tea by Pucker, my favourite tea. Give it a try. Comes in a red box. They're sort of saying, look, this wasn't on me, you, you kind of... It's a bit rude that actually. They're saying you made it all up in your head and that it's not on them and they never led you on. To take this into the extended after I've read this. I'm gonna read this now and then I'm gonna take this extended. I'm gonna ask about this person for you. How did they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? Let's have a look. Why is this outcome here? Strength. You learned a valuable lesson from this, didn't you? Yes, very much so. You learn a very valuable lesson from this. Sometimes, I've got this written down somewhere. Ah, uh, Jesus. I've got this written down somewhere. It's a quote. Hold on. I've tidied my desk up. This is why I don't tidy up, because I lose important stuff. Damn it. Where is it? 
I want to tell you my quote. It's so good. It's David Icke said it. It's like sometimes the worst things that happen to us help us grow, something like that. Um, but it's more precise than that. It was very good. I've got it written down anywhere. Damn it. All right, let's pull you some oracle cards. Cards. Oracle cards. Show the world the real you. Don't hold back, baby. It sort of looks like, I just kind of want to say, it just sort of looks like yeah, that's my next door neighbor's puppy barking because they just went to the shop. Um, it sort of looks like you've gone through all of this to teach you lessons for the future so that everything in the future is like whew, awesome. Great times. Great times ahead, basically. And your love lyric for the day. It can't be love if you throw it about. Love bites by Def Leppard. All right, if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below and choose your link. Thanks for joining me. See you later.